Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for coming back for another vlog. Today, before I get into today's topic, which once again involves a snowblower, I just want to thank you guys so much for making me hit that 50 subscribers. That means a whole lot to me. Now, let's talk about maintenance. Snowblower maintenance. I believe this was actually a video that someone had requested. So I figure I'd go ahead and talk about that a little bit today. So there's a couple key areas you want to maintain is on a two cycle machine. This is two cycle. That means gas and oil in one compartment. So it means you the oil is not separate. So uh, there's like only a few areas you need to maintain with a single stage snowblower like this, which mine's a Toro CCR 2450, as I've told you guys. Um, there's num number one, your paddles, which are these things now mine are actually worn out so i will be changing these in the fall time uh number two is the scraper bar which is like right there number three is your drive belt right here which is underneath this uh black cover if you will number four is your spark plug number five is a fuel filter let's get into each of these topics more individually okay so to change the spark plug on the CCR 2450, it's pretty simple. Um, this is how your uh, cover is, which goes right here. I tucked the starter rope right there. Uh, all you have is one, two, three bolts. You do have to take your key out. Put my key right there. And then you just pop this up. Your spark plug is in this hole. It's right there. So... Um, that's all you need to do is then you just pull the boot off then take a long socket it's a three-quarter inch socket a deep socket you just pull that out and change it and that's all there is to it um it is a small opening you can see I can fit my hand in there but if you want to make it easier you could take off this top cover or you could take off this bottom cover which has one two bolts second one's right there and uh it'll give you a little more room to put your hand underneath okay that's simple spark plug is something you should change maybe every two to three seasons depending upon how much use you get okay now the next topic which is the fuel filter now to access the fuel filter i'm just tipping my snow blower up so you can see the fuel filter is right here so to access that put your choke in the middle this is also your carburetor right here. Take off one, two bolts. This whole cover comes off, but you have to be careful on this side because you got this cable. You should be careful about that. And then all you have to do is pop that filter off. You could probably actually do it just like this, but it makes much easier to take the cover off. And the spark plug and fuel filter on a two cycle is something once again you should maintain every two to three years, depending upon how much use you get. If you get Less snow than probably three years. Then, if you get more snow, there might be every other season. Okay, next up, your drive belt. The drive belt is so when you pull back that bale, it has a spring that it engages this, which has a belt and a pulley system, which turns the auger, which throws your snow. Um, it's more or less. Um, uh, this will become worn and stretched out over time, or it might just snap randomly in heavy snow. So to change it, it's not very hard. I don't think I've had to do it too many times, but you've got one bolt right here. You've got two, three, right there. And then on this side, you've got two bolts, but then you've also got what, um, nuts on this side. So you have to hold them with the wrench and then you pop the cover off and the belt's there. And then um, it's pretty simple to change it. And then, so that's that. Next step is the Scraper and the um, uh, the paddles. Now, the paddles are worn out. My indicator hole is right here and it's worn through. Um, but seeing how it's late February, I will not be changing the paddles out. So to change them out, you've got nuts, uh, hex nuts and bolts here. You've got them here and there. Um, I'll do a more in-depth video on the paddles, how to change them. In the fall, because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need to change mine. And the last up is your scraper bar, which is this piece right here. I changed mine at the beginning of the season because my old one—it's actually over there. I got it laying. 
uh, became worn out. So how to change that is that there's three bolts underneath here that line up. There's like, oh, actually, you've got little, uh, I don't know what these are called, but you got one, two, three, and underneath there's bolts. You take that off and you pop the scraper out. It just takes a little work and a little elbow grease. And um, it locks in on this side. So you, when you're putting it back in, you have to pop this side in first and then align the rest of it up. Push these back in, tighten the bolts, and you're all set. Um, I changed it for the first time by myself. I used to take it to my dealer and they did it, but well, it, uh, so I started maintaining it by myself. And really, that's about it for an area on a snowblower like this. This is all you need is to maintain a single stage two cycle. I know this is an older model. It's about 12 years old to so 2006. Um, always, but one more quick thing. Before you ever change, do any maintenance, consult the owner's manual for uh, proper details on how to change whatever you you need to change. And always, uh, for a two-cycle, make sure you have proper gas mix. This is 50 to 1 gas, so make sure you mix it correctly. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's segment on maintaining snowblowers. I'm Andy's Lawn Care. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch up with you in the next one.